Bernardo Arevalo led a landslide electoral victory in Guatemala's national election. And from civil society groups to private sector leaders, the sentiment shared by many appears to be one of optimism. Of course, everybody has concerns, and I guess he will have concerns too. It's part of being in a, in a, in a political uh, uh, situation. But my concerns are more on the way of, of those things that maybe we can think different. Uh, but I certainly be optimist that the common things that we have will go further instead of that points that maybe we can have as a differences. Part of Arevalo's appeal, political analysts say, is that many in the country see him as a political centrist who has placed the fight against corruption at the top of his presidential agenda once in office. In the wake of the national election, many Guatemalans say they feel confident Bernardo Arevalo's leadership will bring about much needed change. For some experts, however, that feeling is more a sense of cautious optimism. Though the election may be over, some argue that certifying the results could become complicated by legal objections from Arevalo's opponents. According to political columnist Carolina Escobar, the government of Guatemala's president-elect could be undermined by the attorney general's office, which has made repeated attempts to suspend Arevalo's Semilla party over allegations of fraud. This system that has been used has allowed certain actors to gain a lot of power and use the law shamelessly to go after individuals who have no responsibility in criminal acts. It is used to target people politically, because in this country, persecutions are political. Legal experts in Guatemala say that arrests could be made against members of Arevalo's Semilla party, and many expect there will be continued actions that seek to prevent Arevalo from being sworn in next January. Manuel Rapalo, Al Jazeera, Guatemala City.